Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a very simple opt-in form and then connect it to your MailChimp account. Now, to get started with this demonstration, uh, open any post for editing with your Elementor Pro and once you are uh, editing your page, uh, Go to the left and under the Pro section, find the form widget and then just drag it over to the design area and you will have this very basic form. Now we are not going to use the form as it is here. Uh, I'm going to tweak this form a little bit to suit better for our purposes. So let me just uh, remove a couple of fields uh, as you can see that here on the left, once the form is active, you have these form-related settings here on the left. So in this particular case, uh, I will remove the name field and the message field so that only the email field is being left. Now, when I click the email uh, field or this email setting here on the left, uh, I will have different field related settings. Uh, you can basically tweak these ones the way you would like to, but in this particular case, I want to make sure that the email field is actually required. And, and so what it means is that when someone comes to your website and tries to submit this particular opt-in form, uh, it is not going to happen. Uh, it's, it's not going to work because you have defined that this uh, form field is mandatory and something has to be entered into that uh, very field. Now in this case, since we are dealing with an email field, you have these different types that you can choose from. So when I click this drop down here, I have these different types of uh, types that I can set here. So make sure that since we are dealing with email, that this email option is being checked. So uh, I do not know the inner workings of this validation rule, but at least it ensures that something is there on, on the form field and the at sign has to be there as well, because every email address has an at sign. So at least uh, those rules are being validated. So make sure that the email type is uh, selected here and the required uh, selection is set here. And when I uh, go to the, to the bottom of the page, also click this required mark, turn it on. So what happens is that you will have this red star next to the email field and it indicates to the, the visitor that this field is actually mandatory. Okay, then you can basically uh, set different options regarding the submit button. Uh, you can change the text if you would like to. Let me just, uh, sorry, let me just change the text a little bit. Let me just change it to submit. And as you can see that this text now changed into submit. And then you can choose different uh, design options regarding this form, for instance, the size of the button. You can do these tweaks however you want them to do, however you want to do them. So uh, I'm not paying too much attention to these settings here. Just wanted to show you how to change the text on the submit button. Uh, it's very easy and simple thing to do. Then what happens next is that you have this section called actions after submit. Now what does this mean? Uh, it basically defines what happens after you submit this particular form. Now the email value here uh, in add action field is being selected as default and you will also see that you have this email section here, but we are actually not interested about email in this particular in, in this particular case. We are connecting this 
form into the MailChimp account. And therefore, uh, let me just remove this email value here. And as you can see that you have plenty of other options that you can choose from. And in, in our particular case, let me choose MailChimp. And what happens here is that uh, this MailChimp uh, value that you chose over here, uh, the Elementor user interface changed a bit. So you will also have the MailChimp section here. And this is where you basically set uh, your API key and th then you will see all the different lists that you have on your MailChimp account. And we will get back to this option a little bit later, uh, but just wanted to show you that, that you will see these different settings here. And you will also have additional options. Let me just turn on the custom messages. Uh, this is where you define different messages that the visitor sees after submitting a form. So for instance, uh, if submitting a form was successful, the visitor sees this text, the form was sent successfully, and you can obviously change this text uh, to read whatever you wanted to read or say whatever you wanted to say. And then at the same time, for instance, if we wanted to change the required message, then uh, this text uh, is actually shown and then you can naturally tweak this text as well. But I'm not going to change any of these texts uh, in this demonstration. Great, so the opt-in form is actually ready. Make sure to update it or publish it. This may depend on your uh, current status of your page. I will just update this form field for the time being. Uh, everything is ready, the form is ready. The next step is actually to connect it to uh, your MailChimp account. Now what I have done already is that I have created a MailChimp account for this demonstration. And the first step to do uh, once you have registered an, uh, an account with MailChimp is to create an email list. Uh, I have some email lists already created, but let me just show you how it's done with MailChimp. I'm actually very new with MailChimp, just registered an account just two days ago, so it's, it's a really new acquaintance to me, but uh, I think that I can show you how to do these basic steps with MailChimp. Anyways, uh, when you are on your dashboard, on your MailChimp dashboard, go to audience. And here you can see uh, manage audience uh, selection here on the left. And then you can click view audiences. And as you can see that I have some lists that I have already created, but let me just show you how to create a brand new list. So let me just click create audience and then again click create audience. Now here you can set some basic information related to your email list. So let me just uh, enter test list three. And the from address is going to be uh, an email address that you are currently using. So for instance, it could be uh, let me just use this particular one. Mm. And the from name is Just make sure that these values are something that you recognize very easily. And especially that the receiver of your email messages recognizes very easily because otherwise it's very easy for anyone uh, to decide that, hey, this email that I just got is actually spam. And you do not want that to happen. You want to ava avoid spam complaints like a plague. Try to make sure that your user or your subscriber knows why 
he or she is on your email list and that you are using some very, I guess you could say, friendly and recognizable names uh, on the from field and from email address fields. And, and I think that in, in that way you are good to go. Then uh, here you can enter some basic information and it's actually mandatory to do so. So you can write a sort of reminder uh, so that the user, user actually sees that, hey, this is the reason why I'm actually receiving this email message. So let me just enter the same uh, text as we, what we have here. You are receiving this e sorry, email because you opt in at our web. Something like this. And then you have the organization information there, uh, which you have to set uh, your street address. Um, and yeah, you have some other form related settings. I'm not going to cover them over here because this tutorial is not how to use MailChimp. I will probably cover this information in another video, but not in this particular one. Let me just click Save. Let's see if uh, everything went okay. So I have this test list number three. Great. What happens next? Uh, you basically have to create an API key in order to hook up your uh, opt-in form that you created with Elementor Pro uh, to your MailChimp account. And it's actually a very simple thing to do. Uh, all you have to do is to click this arrow pointing down, uh, pointing down next to your uh, profile name. So click that one and let me just go to account. And here in extras you have API keys. Now, I have already generated two API keys and I'm only using this one particular, this particular one here uh, on this demonstration, but it's as easy as clicking create a key and your API key is being created, it's shown on this list. And once you have actually uh, created your API key, it's a matter of just copying it. Let me just copy this information, this API key, and let me go back. Let me go to the text edit application and paste it here as my reference if, if I need it for some reason. And let me go back to the WordPress dashboard. Sorry, let me go here. Uh, no, it was here. So when I click the Elementor and then I click Settings, you will see that under Integrations, you have uh, this section named MailChimp. And this is where you paste this API key that you just generated. Once you have done that, validate the API key by clicking this button. And if it's valid, uh, you should see this uh, green check mark uh, displayed here. So everything is fine. You have created your MailChimp email list, you have created an API key, and you have validated the API key. And the next thing is actually uh, make sure that Elementor sees your new list. And this way you can verify that the connection is actually working. So let me go back to the Elementor and let me just go to the MailChimp section. As you, remember, as you may remember that here I chose the MailChimp uh, value here and because of that I have this MailChimp uh, section shown here as well. So when I click that uh, and the API key should be set as default but in this case uh, I should actually uh, see my new list. Let's just make sure that... Okay, let me do it like this. Let me go back to my dashboard. For some reason, 
the list was not actually updated. Let me go to the um, to the posts and edit with Elementor. And let me just head over to the opt-in form settings. Now it's actually populating this list. It, yes, you can see that with this animation that something is happening here. And here we have test list tree. So this is my new list. This is the list that I created with uh, in my MailChimp account. Let me just choose that one. And let me then click update. And here one setting that you should set is that you map this form field that you have on your Elementor form to the MailChimp form. So make sure that in this particular particular case, since we have the email field, it's also mapped to the email field. So let me choose that one and let me update this form setting again. And now, if I'm correct, everything should be ready. So I think that what we should do next is that we should take a look at this form. Uh, it should already be live on my website. So let me go back to the dashboard and let me just, it's maybe a little bit easier to open the page this way. Optin form demo and let me click view. And here we are, we have this fancy looking form. <laughs> and when I enter my information, my email uh, information over here, let me just enter This particular one, I have some. I have actually a couple of email addresses I can use, so it's it's great for this demonstration. Let me just click submit. The form was sent successfully. Now, when you head over to Mailchimp, and once again you go to the audience here at the top, and here you can click view contacts. And let's see what happens next. I have uh, my current audience is selected as test list number three. You have these other lists here as well, but test list number three is here. Ta da! Here is my email address, and I was able to subscribe to my. Uh, I was able to subscribe to this email list by using the opt-in form that I created with Elementor Pro. That was then hooked to the MailChimp account. And this is how this whole process works. Like I told you, uh, this is not about how to do email marketing, this tutorial. It's not ab about how to do email marketing. It's not how to use MailChimp. Just showing you some basic uh, information, basic steps on how to connect your uh, Elementor uh, form Elementor opt-in form to a MailChimp account. And there are obviously other uh, email service providers that you can use. Uh, for instance, if we go back, hmm, let me just go back to the form and edit with Elementor. So it's, it's much easier to show you this way. So actions or the action, actions of the submit, let me just choose MailChimp. Uh, sorry, let me just remove MailChimp. So you can see that you have some other options. You have Trip, you have Active Campaign, you have Get Response, Convert Get, whatever. So you have plenty of other options that you can use. But this is basically how you hook up your phone with MailChimp. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will get back to you with another video very soon. Bye-bye.